Hello friends, you are watching SN7G and today I am going to tell you that how to write a research proposal in just 5 minutes. So there are some 4 to 5 steps, 4 to 5 headings which we include here to write a research proposal. The first heading is introduction. So now it depends that whether you are writing a research proposal for BS level or for MS level because normally in BS we create a proposal for a project we do not do here research of that as we do in the MS level because in MS we have to develop a new idea new something so if you are doing a project proposal for BS level you have to add here in this heading about the introduction of that industry or that organization for example if you're writing a project proposal for a hospital so you have to write here about the introduction of that hospital for example where it is situated how big it is etc and if you're writing a proposal for MS level so you have to be specific of that topic that for example if I am gonna write a research proposal for sensor networks So I will have to start from the very basic definition of computer network and slowly slowly I will come to my targeted area. Similarly if you are gonna write proposal for data mining so you will have to start the introduction from database and then you will come to your targeted area data mining. So this is the first heading. Now the second step is literature review. Literature review means that you have studied the survey, you have studied the literature and you have surveyed each and everything. So for BS level, as I said, if you are writing a proposal for a hospital, so you have to write about that organizations. The same organizations, if you are writing a proposal for a hospital, you have to write about the introduction of different hospitals. It will show that you have studied different hospitals and you are defining here that how other hospitals are doing their work. Similarly, if you are writing a proposal for MS level, so you have to be specific in your area for example if i am writing a proposal for routing protocol so those kind of routing protocols may have been developed before there should be so i have to define here those routing protocols which are already built in okay the work which have already done in your field you have to write in research review the same work in your targeted area now the third heading is problem statement Yes, this is a very tricky and very, very important heading, the problem statement. It can be one line and it can also be uh, one paragraph. Problem statement means what problem you have seen. The problem which you have seen, what do you think? Why you are making this proposal? Why you want to do research? Which problem you have identified in this specific area? Now number four heading is proposed solution. Proposed solution means you have to write here algorithm or techniques means the problem which you have identified here in the third heading you have to define here that how you will solve that problem using which techniques using which algorithms you have to define each and everything here. The number fifth heading is methodology sometime you can write it as methodology and tools that means how you will conduct your research means how you will conduct this research which tools you will use, which operating system you will use, for example, which uh, uh, software, for example, MATLAB or VB, which kind of software you will use here, you have to write in this section. Now, remember these headings which I have written here, introduction, literature review, problem statement, proposed solution and methodology. These are actually the chapter names of your research thesis. If you are writing a research thesis, first you will write research proposal like this for about seven to eight pages and you have to just extend this and you can create your thesis as well. 
सो लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर बेनिफिटेड थैंक यू